Hey everybody, so it is a beautiful day. I'm taking advantage of this weather. Uh, it's not gonna last long. It's uh, the actually last day of November and it feels like uh, plus five degrees Celsius uh, with the wind chill, so not bad at all. I'm gonna take advantage. So what I'm gonna do is get myself set up and I will see you guys on the first sweet day. along the trail a little bit and uh, see if I come across anything and then if I see any clearings or anything like that I will uh, venture in and see if I can find anything. Oh wow, what the heck, man? <laughs> oh, look at that! I don't think I've ever found a bullet like that. Like, I don't know, has that even been fired? I have no idea. But it's pretty cool, like the look of it. Alright, see you on the next sweet dig. I think we have a spoon. <laughs> we have a spoon. Okay, hang on. Let me put this away. Okay. I don't think it's old. It doesn't look like it's probably stainless steel. Yeah, it's like a, I would say like from the 70s. Just with the design on it. Uh, Accord, <laughs> South Korea. Okay. Alright, so it's a spoon. It's a pretty little design on it there, though. Okay. Okay, 76 to an 81. What's that? Is that to a toy car? That might be what that is. Maybe? No, I don't know what that is. It looks like it was hooked on here and it has like a flap that like snapped down. Maybe it's like to a cooler or something. Huh. It's like heavier in here. That's obviously where the metal is in there. Uh, I think it's something that just snapped and locked something. It's a clip of some sort. I just don't know what what it is a clip for. Alrighty. Oh, well, it's another one of those bullets. Huh, okay. try to find out what these are. They're identical. Okay.
There it is. Yeah, it's another bullet. Okay, so this one's like open at the end. Huh. All right. It's a dog tag, and it's uh, 1966. This is a really cool mystery item. <laughs> cool. I don't see any writing or anything on it. That is pretty neat. It's almost like this thing is supposed to be like be able to go back, back and forth. Well, that's interesting. I'm sure somebody knows what this has got to be. Well, if you can let me know, that would be awesome. I have a 66 here. writing on it, I don't know. Huh. I don't know if this is an old key or not. Chicago, Illinois. That's really cool. I don't know, I'm gonna have to get that home and clean that up and I will put pictures up right now uh, with the description if I have any information, any more information on it. That's pretty cool. I, it looks old to me. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, that is pretty awesome. Once again, my imagination is like running away with me. Uh, what is in there? I don't smell anything, but it could be sealed up pretty good. <laughs> Do I want to look? Frig. Oh, okay, I'm gonna look. It's technically a surface find, so. I think it's for tapping trees, maybe. Oh. I just heard somebody yell. I don't know what that was for. I'm really scared because I heard somebody yell, but... Okay, I'll take one more. Hello. 
What could that be for? Like measurements in centimeters. Ice cream scoops. I've found ice cream scoops out before. I wonder what the heck that is for. That's interesting. If you guys know what this stuff is for, let me know. All right. Leave it there. Obviously, somebody does something with it. I'm just glad it's not body parts. <laughs> All right. Copper bracelet. That was pretty much right on the surface. Yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. That is pretty awesome. Very cool. Okay, so that is it for today. Didn't find anything too great. That key is uh, pretty cool. I like that. And uh, mystery finds. I gotta figure out what that one uh, item was. Um, other than that, uh, I think I'm gonna pack it in for the day. The sun is going down. The temperature is dropping very quickly and I don't want to be stuck out here when it gets cold and dark. So I will uh, take this time to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button and leave a comment because I'd love to chat. All right, guys. 